All right. So anyway, back to off of that. Back off. Like we're discussing the the, the pros and cons of Western. I mean, keep in mind, um, yeah. Bethesda is still a Western developer, and there's some pretty solid Western developers. And the indie boom is still going on. The indie boom has been running solid for about a decade now. I I see I. I have a lot of issues with indie games. Uh, you have a lot of issues with early access. Oh yeah, I have a lot of issues with early access. Early access okay, you know, I, I don't think it's yeah, so much the indie game. And there's the gas cloud. Yep. Completely pointless. Let's look at your relics to see if you have, uh... What? what look for what? Your oh, relics. Is there anything missing? Nope, yeah, let's see if you have all the relics. There it is, yep. a complete relic list. Everything, everything's got. It's Dracula time. It's, it's the end of the game time. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I have a lot of issues with, with early access. Yeah, so that's and that's a lot of indie developers rely on early access. I mean, so we're we're still running in the uh, the era that uh, Minecraft was is a cultural it was a cultural phenomenon. Uh, I will at least I say that is. I don't know. I mean, we have. I mean, there's a reason Microsoft acquired it for over a billion? Four billion dollars. Ridiculous. Dude, Notch, so, Notch just sits on a pile of money and is like, I don't know what to do with my life. I did read an article that he had a bit of a depression. Oh, he, yeah, he has it a lot. Because he doesn't know what to do. Because he was like working on this game. This was his thing. And it kept him without. If you have nothing to do, it's hard to stay out of that. But He talks about that a uh, lot. And then people are like, like he, he talks about how he thinks a lot of stupid, like, modern social issue stuff is stupid, and then people are like, aren't you that fat millionaire who's sad that no one loves him? And he's like, wrong, I'm that fat billionaire that's sad no one loves him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he's self-aware now, so I suppose. But, um, but you know, it, it was, before, like, the term early access was a thing, to my knowledge, like, Minecraft was, it was crowdfunded, you know? What was the and thing that's I just a, got? You got another. Um, check oh. the bottom. It goes on. That's what. No, it was a. It was a helmet. Was it a helmet from after killing? Oh yeah. yeah opal cycle. It shows HP by ice damage. That's stupid. That'll never happen. Against the three enemies that the frozen have. But um, but you know he was. It was a success, and that's when it really felt like this is a thing. And Minecraft's still a fun game. I still play Minecraft, man. It's like, yeah, I'm an adult, and it's equivalent to playing with Legos. But you it's know, still honestly, like you want to get to like talk about like the things that are super fun, more fun with friends, and you don't really get into without Minecraft. Is that. I cannot yeah. play that game on my own. When no, I that's what people. Yeah. I have a blast. Yes, Castlevania. Speaking of Castlevania. Oh, Castlevania. <laughs> uh, the, one of the first Minecraft um, towns. Ian, myself, and how many other friends was it? Uh -huh, four or like five four of us. Five, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we joined a server. They gave us permission in our own little area. Uh, and they liked us because we were consistent players, and um, we built Asylvania. <laughs> built a town called Asylvania. Uh, so, um, but it's it's a template for an active imagination. So, oh, I mean, yeah, granted, sure. there are different channels for it, but that's a very fun with a bunch of. Friends. The thing is, like, I've I've never ceased to be impressed by some of the shit people pull in Minecraft. <laughs> But, but the reason I bring it up more than anything is it's represented, it wasn't a major company, it was a, it was a tiny little company, it was Notch and his, uh, and Mojang, and, you know, but it's a, the big success story. You know, now when one person does this thing, they want to, people want to emulate that model, so we have crowdfunded games, we have kickstarted games, um, you know, early access, you might as, this is the quickest way, frankly, is, um... Oh, shit, there's a little area, no, there isn't. It's uh, safe to teleport to Old Rox's quarters. Yeah, Old Rox's quarter. So, there you go. But they want to emulate that model and do so well. And now we just have... Oh, and Greenlight. Steam Greenlight was a big... Uh, they, like, it, good intentions. Yeah. Uh, that just turned out pretty poorly. So, But we do still have gems in it. And I think that's actually part of the fun for me when, when dig was digging for indie games. Is to find the one to, to actually find the quality ones and dig around and look around. like you know it's it's, it's interesting. Um, we also had a weird revolution of uh, RPG Maker games released on Steam that were decent. <laughs> okay, I think, the, I think I think to the moon. Did you they, ever play to the moon? That was amazing. I really enjoyed that. More like a visual, like more like a novel. Play what? Cool. More like a you're walking simulator. <laughs> no, what game? Like, to the moon. Uh, I like to the moon a lot. 
yeah, it was good. But anyway, so back to you. I was I was rambling on about no, that. That's fine. Truth the Moon's a good game. I recommend anyone go play it. But it is, it is more of a, a simulator game than an actual like game. Game game. Game game. And yeah. Which is fine. Like I like those kind of things though, sometimes. Sometimes I I'm so in the mood for them. Yes, well, there's a lot of games out there. I don't even um. Refer I don't call them games. I just refer to them as digital experiences, like Gone Home. Oh. Uh, I uh, I refer to it as a digital experience more than anything. <laughs> See, I, I I know there's a larger discussion with that particular game because of the price point, um, quality, and just massive Ooh, debates. But length of game. <laughs> so what I my experience was, it came in a bundle, and I didn't even know I had it. I was like, "What's this? I should play it." I played it. I'm like, "Wow, Wait, what, I really what liked set that." This off? What? Oh, maybe you need to beat all the bosses. I don't know. I don't remember what makes this happen. <laughs> maybe you need all the parts of we Dracula? Did the... Yeah, maybe. We did the thing, Ian. <laughs> but, um, I don't even know why my... things are happening. <laughs> well, maybe I think you might need all the parts of Dracula. Thanks, Raven. Alright, what do I want to take out of this fight? Um, can never go wrong with the lightning. You're never gonna need it. Oh, the holy book. Keep your Bible close to your heart. Or the cross. <laughs> Let's take the cross. <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna use it. I'm but. not gonna. Anyways, use my it. my point on like my my final point since I did bring up Gone Home uh, was that I really enjoyed the experience and I got it for free, and then I was like, I would never have spent twenty dollars on it though. Yeah, I think my big problem. It's not so much indie games as indie developers. Like, like the, I feel like this, this sense of entitlement has developed with them. That I made a thing, so you need to like it. Or buy it. And like, like I look at like uh, some who wrote to Notch is like, I just released my first game. He's like, congrats. She's like, fuck you. <laughs> if you you if you gave me and my friends money, we could release like ten games a year and not have to starve. He's like, okay, make a good game then. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean we could we could pull in like entitlement and gaming conversation, but that's not a conversation we're having. No, it's not. But I, I do feel like that has become more of a thing with indie devs over time. Don't get me wrong; I think AAA studios have a lot of that too. Yeah, but that's mostly because they have the money to be like, uh, give us a good rating, <laughs> or we're not gonna we're not gonna give you but, uh, preview video or preview versions of. Um, two of my favorite indie games, Bastion and Transistor. Bastion's awesome. Transition yeah. too. I love them both. They were great, great games. So, all right. All the stuff aside, welcome to the end. <laughs> Here it is. You have uh, done well the second in conversation. It this far. I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who is controlling Belmont. <laughs> That's yes. a weird way to say that. I am yes. the dark priest called Shaft. Shaft. This world must be cleansed. In the Forge of Chaos. Why did you make Belmont lord of this castle? Ah, oh, so centuries, awkward dialogue. Vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. Holy but power. You hear the, like, the, like, the finger quotes there? Yep. Were to fight each other. This doesn't Belmont's make any sense. supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. <laughs> but your plan has failed. Oh, God, it's painful. As That's a stupid me. plan. <laughs> see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. That doesn't but, make any sense. How can you destroy it? This is a weird device, Shaft. Also, Shaft, you got riggedy wrecked by stunt by... <laughs> oh! Oh! No. You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. But, but my goal is achieved. Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> I like how this explodes. Yep, and the eyeball opens here in the background. Yep. That was kind of neat. It's Dracula's so design is kind of bizarre here. It's so weird. It's so weird. Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. 
I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, father. You have ever been the ally of humans. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side. Put aside your weak human side. Remaking <laughs> this world. Uh. Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again. Yeah, it's so weird that this is like a final form Dracula and it's just the one form. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do stupid stuff because it's funny. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh, the bombs, right? These are all the, all the items that you get in, throughout the game. That no one, I don't use them. <laughs> yeah, his final form was him sitting in his chair. It's really weird. That, that's it. That's his. That's his final form. I like the difference between the bat pentagram and the pentagram is just design. Yeah, all right. If I remember correctly. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, that's enough. For that. <laughs> I think that's oh no, I have one more pentagram. <laughs> Jeez. All this shit is really stupid. It serves no purpose. Monster vial. Three. Monster vial. All right. Put one on each hand, but yeah, put it on the other hand to a oh, javelin, I guess. Javelins just go straight forward. I mean, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> go with my skeleton army. No, the I like how they have the halos. I know, right? Like, they're the good, the good, we're good skeletons. This is so stupid. <laughs> magic missiles, magic missiles, and jump in the air, and as you're following, tap all the magic missiles. That? Yes. It was just, it was just a, a wave of magic missiles. I like how he uh, summons bosses to eat them. Yep. The iron ball is a weird one. All oh, this is ever so pointless. If you have, if you're watching this, you haven't realized I'm dragging this out. <laughs> oh yes, he could have. He could have finished Dracula after the first charge. I mean, the quickest I've killed him is like he hasn't, he hadn't, didn't fully emerge on the screen. He was coming there and there, and I killed him. <laughs> I think I've used everything. No boomerang, and buffalo stars. Oh, I'm down to the last sets. You know, we didn't go back to the the normal library to sell all that stuff. Oh, yeah, we did you, it. And you never cast Tetra Spirit, which is the last spell in the game. Oh, you know, I forgot about Tetra Spirit. Yeah, it's just someone's four spirits. It's not. It's not useful. It's completely stupid. Okay, let's let's end this. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's let's call it good. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the Dark Shield. You uh, you, you stumbled. Yeah, yeah, I saw when you picked that up. It was a rare drop. That is a rare drop. Wow, that is really good, actually. Yeah, it's a pretty solid shield. Looks pretty good with the, um... It's weird yeah, that even... it ups your attack. In your right hand. You see that? Yeah, yeah, it does. Why is that? Uh, I f there's something neat about it, I don't remember. Oh, you can hit them with it. Yeah. yeah. I remember why, just That's walking really weird. through enemy bosses. Leave that. That's interesting. Funny. Okay, enough of that. Let's make it up for the, the health I've There we go. <laughs> and we're back! <laughs> yeah, we just uh, had a bit of a break there. <laughs> <Did> we... <laughs> How? 
so defeated. You have been you have idiots in your... you lost the ability to love. Oh, uh, what a beautiful sentiment. Sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. <laughs> Thanks for quoting. Tell me, what, what were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. All right. So, Nate, do you remember a while back in this playthrough, I told you that there's a specific reason I played the PlayStation one? Yeah. That reason will be coming up here momentarily. The, the beautiful CG here? No. Or is it the song? <laughs> it's the song. That song is only in the PlayStation version. Yeah. They lost the rights to that song. So I'd like to point out that we can't see the... Where's the first castle in this CG sequence? Yeah, who knows? It's not here. Maybe it disappeared beforehand. It feels like God just like smited. <laughs> yep. I love how you always get out of the castle before it's destroyed. You just, they always manage to. Always. It's always a cliff overlooking the castle. So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. Look at him! Look at him I'm shaking. Sorry. It is my fault. <laughs> you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you <laughs> must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to yeah, you're not wrong. is for good men to, good do, men to nothing. do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. It would be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll, we'll not, not meet, meet again. again. <laughs> That's what he says. Don't you want to go after him, Maria? I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my life. Maria says three different things it's all here. Right. Go after him. Perhaps you can save. Depending his on the soul. amount of uh, percentage you uh, uncover in the map. Yeah. Fare thee well. I forget what the other two are. And yourself, dear lady. She, she says, no, I should leave him be, and, um, I wonder if maybe it's just two. two <laughs> so it. now we get uh, that sweet 90s synth. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what a good game. Yeah, thanks, thanks Ian for inviting me to comment on this whole thing. I want to see who these voice actors are. I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> oh, really? Can we really afford this? No, no, not at all. There were this many voice actors in the game. I mean, all kinds of voice actors. <laughs> oh, what a what a hilarious, bah, what a hilariously good game. Still, there's there's a reason I, I still stand by that I love this game. The opening sequence is the best, and um, just just wonderful, and also bad, I guess, but not bad. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, like, obviously we know what we're doing, so we just, like, tore through the- literally in one sitting, tore through the reverse castle. That's yeah. actually quite- Wait, wait, don't you mean literally tore through the whole game in, in one, one sitting? sitting? Yes. And we're back! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist one more. <laughs> the big thing is, like, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, it takes a little while to get through, because you gotta, like, figure out where shit is. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. So... I feel like I did that in a pretty good, solid time. What, three hours? That you told me. Yeah, yeah, two, hour, two and a half hours, three hours. Well played, sir. Well played. <sighs> but yeah, this song is not in any other versions after this. 
Not even the Xbox version. Ah, oh, nice. It is only in the PlayStation version. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> it's so cheesy and stupid. I'm like, they ha everyone has to experience it. It's such a, such a, such a, a thing with that era of gaming. Cheesy ending songs. Yeah, I, uh, I can't hear the game and the, the theme right now. I am the wind. Yeah. <laughs> You, you know it in your head when you think about yeah. it. Yeah, I could hear it in my head. I'm trying to think, what was one of the first games that had a stupid song like this at the ending it? I know this was one of the first. That had like a vocal ending song. Beats me. I guess I could part for the chorus now, but... Oh, and all the our nostalgia talk, I didn't discuss Legend of Dragoon at all. Oh man, Legend of Dragoon's so good. And terrible translation. <laughs> oh man. Man, that, that, that was a staple of that time, though. Terribly translated things. God. It's like they didn't even try. Almost, almost like to the point of English. So, any last thoughts about uh, Castlevania Symphony of Night, Nate? Uh, it was a genre-defining risk that they took that played out in the end. Um, games, their further future Castlevania games modeled themselves after it, and game types to this day, Metroidvania games are still coming out. In fact, well... Go ahead. Uh, nothing. I was gonna say I didn't realize Alundra came out the same year this game did. Yep, 97. So, um, but yeah, this is a, it built a genre, and um, I remember, like, you know, the first thing that comes to mind, like, just two years ago, I played Ori in the Blind Forest, and it's a Metroidvania game. I heard that's pretty good. I loved it. Do you know this is the second best rated game in 97? Doesn't surprise me. Guess what the first one was. What, Final Gold Fantasy VII? Nope, GoldenEye. Oh, yeah, oh, gosh, yeah. Get, get, get my get away from me. It goes, it goes Goldeneye, Symphony here. of the Night, and then Final Fantasy VII. That's funny. Even though Final Fantasy is like one of the greatest games of all time. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty damn good game. And this one, you could actually play now and not want to kill yourself like unlike Goldeneye. <laughs> Try playing Goldeneye now, you'll want to die. I enjoy it. Alright, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything after the credits on that. No, no, I'm surprised. I'm so I'd be shocked if anyone's watching it at this point post credits. Uh, most Boom. people usually watch. To... I I always watch the credits and stuff because people usually talk about stuff. And yeah. What's, what's left? Yeah. Just to see the percent. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing that no one ever got to see because I never showed the like file select. The little picture changes all the time. What did you miss? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> was less than seven hours, shorter than I thought. I was, th I was expecting seven, like seven twenty. Yeah, that was a long game, and then uh, for a Castlevania game, anyways, longest probably so far. The longest so far. It's not going to be the longest thus far, though. Nope. Looks like we're getting into the era of longer games. All right. Well. I just gotta say thanks for anyone who's watching, which is again like six to ten. <laughs> yep, and I and as I announced before, you know these guys are doing some pretty awesome things. So keep watching the Blue Wizard Project. Yep, and uh, if you get a chance, go play this game. It's damn good. Yep, it's damn good. All right. All right. Bye. Peace out, guys. <laughs> See you later. I'm assuming you're going to edit this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <edit>. gonna... <laughs> <laughs> and we're back! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad you were, you were so...